I'm Chico Teixeira. I'm from Brazil. My movie calls Absence, and it's a film about one guy who have 16 years old, and one guy, child, but when uh, 15 years old, that is a man. He's not an uh, adolescent more. He's another child more. And he, he came in through life until the, the back door, for the back door, you know? That's it. My first question actually is what interests you in kind of like male adolescence and growing up? You know, from boyhood into manhood. Is that a topic that interests you in general? And why did you make a movie out of it? Yes, interest, this topic interested me very much me. You don't help me, okay, about my English. <laughs> She's gonna help you. She's gonna be fair. Yeah. And then, in specifically, 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 mm -hmm. specifically, yeah. specifically, this this movie, I would like to talk. In this this age of 15, 14, 16 years old, people because it's not a child, it's not a man, it's in the in between. For me, it was very hard to do, do when I was 15, when I was 14. That's it, really, really hard, really hard. People, I I thought that I was different than the other people. I would like to talk more with older people, older than me, and I. I don't know what hard, I don't know how to say in English, in, in, I don't know how difficult, to say in Portuguese. Yeah, My difficult. feeling is what, that it was very hard. It was very, very difficult. Very difficult, yeah. And then I was thinking about the story to tell about this, my difficulty, mm -hmm. yes. And this is very good, I think, for me when I, when I write something that is not resolved inside of me, you know? Yes, okay. And then I, I want to write, I, I want to see this in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Yes, I want to really, I really get deeper in my mind about this. That's why this was a 15 guy. <laughs> <laughs> but with the with this story specifically, also is he he doesn't really have a, a support system, you know, like a functional family with a mother and a father who might be supportive. It's all missing in a way. So how would you like characterize his environment? What does it look like, and what what is he missing? What's the environment? Surrounding? Surrounding. Surrounding. Uh, I think this guy missed a lot of things. I think he, he missed his father. I think he's missed friends. I think he's missed a hook. I think he's missed uh, some place in his house that is very warm and calm. Yeah, you know? And I, in my mind, I think it's very hard when you're born and you are in a family that is not very good structure, structure structured. Structures. Yes, structures. Yes, it is. And I forgot, to, I forgot to, the other question. Was what, yeah, what, what is he missing? His, ah, the missing. environment, you know, like you said, yes. there's no structure. And, okay. yeah. and for example, for me, I, I, I think about when, for example, Serginho, when he lost, lost his father, I think uh, he he going to to pro, to find he, he trying to find somebody not another father but somebody who uh, who 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 get a, uh, feel like uh, compassion or empathy maybe 
it should not be empathy, like need someone to feel warm, oh, to affection warm affection. affection. Affection, not a father affection exactly, because we don't, when you lose a father, when you lose a boyfriend, when you lose a girlfriend, when you lose a big friend, it's not, you don't find another, another, the other person again. But I think we can try to find some emotions about that you lost. Mm, the last in your, in your mind, and then Serginho uh, was uh, trying to find it in with the teacher, with the with the friends Mujinho, his friends, and he's trying to to uh, uh, he's trying to to find it, to find, find it. And, and, uh, someone to preach. To, to get it full about these emotions. Is good? Uh, very good, yeah. But how, how did you, um, as actors, like begin to rehearse and get into that um, environment, uh, that mood of the, of the film? We did rehearsals for two months before we started the move. Wow. And we had some, um, a lady who is called Fatima Toledo. Okay. She is a very famous uh, lady to do this kind of thing. She just prepared us, like, uh, put us in this kind of motion, like, uh, we were together already mm -hmm. in the rehearsals, mm -hmm. so we had to feel what we was gonna feel at the move. Mm -hmm. So, uh, find this, um, find what a, like I had to feel that I couldn't take care of him. Yeah. That's what I had yes. to find out. Yes. And we just look uh, for our lives because everyone, like he said, uh, when he was young, he felt like this. And everyone knows inside this feeling, but we've been uh, for a long time trying to bring it uh, very in skin like to yeah. be very and when we uh, went to the set mm -hmm. was already in the mood mm -hmm. we were already the characters how was it for you as a woman to to play that sort of character <sighs> <laughs> the case uh, like for me she wasn't a woman for a long time she she started to drink because she was so uh, so alone and needed someone like him. The other things like uh, for me too, and I was uh, in a kind of mood like the, uh, to find someone inside me that was the same as this woman. And I was feeling I wasn't exactly, my life was not exactly great as a woman. That's how I made the, um, the contact. Okay. Okay. And then I started to feel that mood inside and I don't know, just I look at him and he was my my son. I don't have children. Okay. So I had to create this experience. But his script was, was uh, we couldn't read it. But we knew just about the feelings we had to, to work on. And I don't know. After two months, we were that people. <laughs> you became your embodied, embodied yeah. people. How did you experience the shooting process? Came from experience in process. Yeah. Uh, foi muito intenso, assim. Very uh, intense. Exigiu muita dedicação. A lot of work, hard work. E assim, uma, é, o filme pedia uma entrega. Não só minha, mas de todos os atores. Uh, we had to give all of our feelings, like give ever, uh, everything from our lives, the experience, just to put everything there. 
E nas preparações... É... In the rehearsals. Eu criei relações muito fortes com pessoas que estavam envolvidas com o filme. Chico, Gilda, Irandir. He created a, a very strong relationship with all the people who were there with Chico and Irandir, that's a great actor, is not here, is the teacher, and me, with me. E que, que o Serginho é um menino de 14 anos que está no momento de transição, assim. Sabe, ele está se descobrindo. Is a 14 years old boy that is just finding out uh, things just hum, tipo, ele já passou dessa fase. Ele não é mais um menino, mas ainda não é um homem, sabe? It's not a child, but it's not a, a big boy it's in between. E é isso. <laughs> About this. How uh, my other question is how um... Did you did you think a lot about his his sexuality in general and his relationship? Sexuality. His, yeah, his um, the way he t he deals with his sexuality. For me, uh, no, if I not personally, not. <laughs> 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 that I'm right, it's the same for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about I'm thinking about your character <laughs> in the very <laughs> <scene. laughs> Yes, I think a lot. I think to have a lot of sexuality too. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a, yes, that's a 15, sure. 16, you're like horny all the time, huh? yes. basically. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. But I think that the sexuality of this guy in the, in the, in the film was very, like, like he told me, yeah, what he told us, he's, he's discovering. He don't know if he's a gay, if he likes, if he likes men's, or if he likes women's. I think if if he likes he was I think if he was a gay I think he was have some boyfriends for example the Mujinho mm. maybe his boyfriend mm. but not he's not my friend he was a very close friend maybe one year uh, after Mujinho boyfriend of him or maybe not too he, it's like that he told he told us He was changing, he was uh, experimenting. Né? Uh, Silvinha, the Japanese girl, that he was her girlfriend. I don't know if Silvinha was her girlfriend or not. I was a platonic lover. I don't know too. So do you think he's gonna find that out in the future or what? I think so, he will find that out in the future. I think he will find out It will find out in the future about Sylvia. I think he will find out in the future about the teacher. That he really don't know if he loves sexually the, the teacher or she or he uh, admires the the profession, the, the the teacher. That my God, somebody who give me attention, somebody who give me protection, somebody who give everything, and I'm jealous about him when he saw the other guy there, the other little boy, mm -hmm. and the teacher was there. And you have something in the in, in between, you know? Mm -hmm. the, if not, he is jealous, he's not jealous. Why he's jealous is a sexuality. And he, uh, he do a very, it's not erotic, 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 but very sensuality. 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 Oh, yes. Sensuality every day, the teacher. I don't know if he knows, Sergin knows that his sensuality, the teacher. But the teacher feels very sensuality about him. The teacher wants to wow! <laughs> go, go to him, kiss him, put in your head. Lamp on the yes, yeah, go to sleep. No, <laughs> no. He cannot do. Okay. 15 years old. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And he's a teacher. <laughs> yes, he can. His, his role doesn't allow it to do it. His social role. So, so he is. He has not a defined sexuality yet. I think so. He doesn't yeah, have. No, okay. not a defined sexuality yet. Yes, but in six six months or one year, <laughs> <you're defined. laughs> alone in life. Yes. We don't okay. want no family. Yes, yes, yes. Walking with his legs, you know, walking alone with his legs, and <laughs> we'll find out. We will find, find out. out. Yes. Um, how, how did the people react in the audience when you screened it last night? 
for the first time, the, the audience reaction. It was very good. It uh, was very funny because when, when, I, when I screened the film, I want to see again, but yeah. I see in the back, in the back, the last chair, yeah. to see everybody. The very here, and I see everybody very, don't, do not move a lot. When the movie is not good, you say, what the, you get the phone, and say, everybody. So focus. Focus, yeah, the first, like, do not move. Three persons went out. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. That's Sometimes a, it's three out. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, it's okay. Cinema is like this. Yeah, yeah. People cannot do, do not like. It's okay. It's democratic. Yeah. Yes, it is. How do you feel about the, the finished film now when you watched it yesterday? Did you think you really created this world? Do you feel satisfied? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's really great to see. The first time I saw is different from here. That is a big, big screen. What was great to yes. see <laughs> yes. was very special. But when I saw the movie, like Chico wants real life, uh, he n never allowed you to to do some um, uh, like an actor. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. stop it. Mm -hmm. I want life. So sometimes I used to think. Am I doing something? I was just there, living and doing nothing. And then when I saw the movie for the first time, I was absolutely shocked because everything was there at the eyes, inside. You can see everything. Uh, we have no many words in the movie. It's more like uh, you can you can feel it about, uh, you can see it, but uh, the, the words we say are not exactly important, mm -hmm. but the things you see are very important. Visual. For me, the eyes are the mm -hmm. most important things there. And he just did a great, great, great film. We are very proud to be with him. We, we love this move, really love this move, <laughs> this film. Did you show it in Brazil already too? Or? Yes, we, we saw Brazil in Brazil in October. October, October, yes, October yeah. in last year. Yeah. Okay. In the real festival. <laughs> Okay. And it was, and it was good in Brazil too. It was good, and we won. Uh, uh, Matheus won a prize, wow. best actor. Congratulations! Yeah. Yeah. And was uh, and I and I gave a prize a special of the jury. For me. Okay. The, the jury is right. The jury yeah. from the from the Rio de Janeiro. Uh, Rio de Janeiro, yes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Congratulations! <laughs> to, to prize. Yeah. Matheus uh, is the youngest boy to get this prize in ever. this festival ever. Wow, it was a, a big thing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah, yeah, you are proud proud young man. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming and showing uh, the film. Do you no, want to say something? Yeah, no, please, please. I just was gonna say about the audience yesterday. Because in Brazil people got really moved about the the film. Mm -hmm. And then we didn't know how the audience hear the German and German. people <laughs> around the world, how they could get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we could see they were very moved too. They could feel like this is not, uh, it is a Brazilian uh, thing, like a, a social structure, but it's more like universal, it's more like Archetype. It is. It is. So it was really nice to see another people looking at and it was great. Great. Thank you so much for bringing this film to Germany or to the Berlin Island. Uh, and thank sharing you. your work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.